hello everyone welcome back to my channel step by step so i am going to start the very fresh topic which is in very high demand nowadays that is the steel structure due to the infrastructure development technological advancement research and development and the production of high strength steel it is expected to be a very high growth industry Concrete structures can be learned from many platforms. Even in the B.Tech time, you may have practiced and learned about it. But for the steel structures, we are having very limited platforms. And even in your college days, nobody would have told you about the steel structures so deeply. So that is why I am going to start the steel structure from the very basic, and you don't need any prior knowledge for this. But there is a prior warning for you. This is not for the soft-hearted learners. This is going to be the very technical discussions. So please carry pen and paper with you. Those who don't know about me, let me give a short introduction. My name is Pratik Devangan. I completed my master's in structure engineering from IIT Roorkee and currently working with L&T in oil and gas industry, having a 2.5 years of experience. So let's get started. Do you know what are the various shapes for the steel structures available in the market? Yes, these are the most commonly used structural shapes. All of these having a different physical properties and their own significance. Among all of this, the most basic structural element is the plate. And all these complicated shapes are made with the help of plates by attaching it in a different angles. And there are so many applications of this plate itself. You can use it in a, any bracing, any connecting members if you want to connect two different members in the base plates. And for all this design purpose, you should be aware about the physical properties of this plate. And today I am going to discuss about the physical property in a detailed manner. So here you can see one plate. This plate has some depth, some thickness and some length. Let us consider depth as a D, thickness as a T, and length as a L. And with this, you can simply find out the area of cross sections of this plate, that is D into T. Now let's calculate it moment of inertia. Moment of inertia is nothing but the rotational inertia. It shows the stability and the forces needed to rotate it. And you know what? Moment of inertia is going to be the widely used terminologies in the whole steel industry. So this is the very important concept and you should know how to find the moment of inertia of any shapes of the steel structures. And later on you will automatically find the application of moment of inertia. So now let's calculate the moment of inertia of this plate. Here we have two axes, xx axis and yy axis. So the moment of inertia can be calculated for both the axes. In the xx axis, the moment of inertia of this plate will be d cube into t by 12. And in the yy axis, the moment of inertia of the plate will be t cube into d by 12. So you can see depth of this plate is very larger than the thickness. Hence, the moment of inertia for this plate will be very very high for the main i xx axis which will, which will call be as the major axis. So if you want to resist the bending for the particular load direction, then just keep the orientation of plate such that the major axis bending should be along with that load axis. And the next property is also derived from the moment of inertia, that is section modulus. Section modulus is nothing but the direct measure of the member strength. And the section modulus is equal to I by Y. I is the moment of inertia and Y is the extreme end of this particular section. So section modulus will also be different for both the axes. For Z axis, it will be D squared D by 6 and for Z Y Y, it will be T squared D by 6. Here also, the section modulus about axis will be higher than the section modulus about Y Y. And the next property is radius of gyration. I will tell you the actual meaning of radius of gyration in an other shorts or video. As of now you just understand radius of gyration is equal to root over i by a and it has been used in calculating the slenderness ratio. So these are all the properties which will help you to decide the perfect member for your design load. 
you can find all the properties for any of the sections in their steel table either it will be the indian steel table or american or euro anything you can find out all these properties for the defined section and slowly slowly you will get to know how to use all these properties while designing so stay tuned with my channel i will be back with the next shape that is most widely used in steel industry that is i sections and its detailed analysis of about the physical properties and apart from that i will tell you how to find all these physical properties for your customized shape using the stat pro software so thank you for now please subscribe to my channel press the bell icon to get the latest updates about the next video and share it with your friends and colleagues